Hey guys, uh, super quick video for you guys today. It is release day uh, for Green Day's new greatest hits album, God's Favorite Band. Um, so I went out, actually I had to go to Walmart to pick this up because my local record store didn't have a copy. I mean, it was only $9.97, very good deal there. <laughs> I have all the songs except for the new one. Already, I already own them on CD. Why did I pick this up? Because I'm addicted to Green Day. I buy anything that they release. Um, I have to own all of their stuff. So, um, yeah, like I said, I own all these songs already. Um, Would have been smarter for me just to listen to the new one on Spotify, but I have to own every Green Day thing. <laughs> oh, I didn't even spend 10 bucks on it, so. Well, I spent exactly 10 bucks on it, so. Anyway, it says on the eighth day, God created Green Day. <laughs> um, 22 hits from dawn of creation to present day. Features two new songs, including Back in the USA. They say two new songs. They're not really new because the other one is just an, a version of Ordinary World with Miranda Lambert. And I hate country music. I didn't like that at all. Um, I'll just listen to the regular version of Ordinary World. But their song, Back in the USA, is so good. So, so good. I heard it when it came out on min at midnight last night. Um, and, and I watched the video, too. I've seen that, like, five times already. Um, and it, it's only 4.30 in the afternoon on Friday. Um, so, yeah. Uh, such a creative video. I really, really love it. Um, they parody an old horror film. Well, sci-fi horror film. Um, I believe it's called uh, They Live, I think. Anyway, um, I haven't seen that movie, but I probably probably will now, now that i seen the Green Day video based on it. So, anyway, I'm going to open this up real quick, see how well I can do this with one hand. Alright. And the sticker is going to be the hardest part to get off. I might see if I can save the hype sticker, I don't know. I like to, but sometimes they're difficult to get, especially on the Walmart ones. I am worried that this might be edited since I bought it at Walmart. I hate edited music so much. Walmart is like this, owned by this super conservative family, and they don't, if, if there's an album that has swear words in it, usually they bleep them out or provide an edited version or something, which I just hate. I can't stand. Uh, it's defacing the original art, you know. Anyway. I don't understand people who are all hung up on the idea of swear words. Anyway, I finally got it open. Um, see that. There we go. Alright. So I do really like the cover art on this. It's got, like, the stained glass window. All the guys are dressed up as uh, priests. Um, I'm not sure what that... Oh, I guess that's just a church fan or something, because, you know, people use fans at church. Anyway. Um, so, but it's got, in the stained glass, it's got all kinds of Green Day references, like the American Idiot logo. The Nimrod logo's up there. The flower from uh, Kerplunk is over there. Um... They've got a parody of the 21st Century Breakdown logo and the um, the Uno cover art. So yeah, all kinds of cool Green Day references in the stained glass there. Um, that's the spine. Something I do really like, it makes it difficult to film because of the glare, but I really like that this is a plastic case. It seems like, all, um, it seems like there's a big shift towards the cardboard mini LP uh, uh, cases for CDs now. Um, I think because they're cheaper, but they're also, they also feel cheaper and they don't hold up as well as these plastic cases. So I do like that. More Green Day references, of course, on the stained glass. And then there's a track list there that's hard to read, I know. Um, there's something from every album. If you consider the trilogy one album, um, because the only song off the trilogy is Oh Love, but anyway, besides that, there's something from every album except for 1039 Smooth Out Slappy Hours. Um, the only song from Kerplunk is 2,000 Light Years Away. So, 
but at least they put something from Kurt Blanc on there. So I applaud them for that. It's, of course, 2017 on Reprise Records. So let's open this up. I would have rather had a live album, honestly, than a Greatest Hits compilation. Um, I always love Green Day's live albums. And I would have loved to have a video from this tour, since it was the first one I went to. But anyway, there's the, um, the artwork on the disc, which is kind of cool, I think. And there's a picture of them playing live on the back of the booklet there. Um, let's see, back behind the CD, it's just a continuation of the stained glass thing. Which, they got this idea when they played at, um, on Colbert, a uh, late show with Colbert. Because he has this running gag where he talks to God. Because his studio kind of looks like a church almost. It's got like the stained glass thing um, going on. So his, Colbert does this re reoccurring like bit where he talks to God about stuff. Because um, Colbert is religious. Um, anyway. Uh, I can't get the booklet out. Um, when Green Day played last on Colbert. Might have been their only time playing on Colbert. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, he made a crack that uh, Green Day was God's favorite band. So that's kind of where they got this whole bit from. I can't get this booklet out for the life of me. It is seriously stuck in there. Let me set the camera down. I don't have a good place to set it. I'll set it here. You can look at my steering wheel for a second. <laughs> that front page of the booklet was just jammed inside there. Okay, I got it now. Uh, there you go. Now you don't have to be hiding behind my steering wheel anymore. Okay, so there's the back, like I said. Hard to see. I know there's lots of glare going on. Okay. So here's the booklet. Um... This is just a track list on the this side here, the white side. And then this is the beginning of lyrics. Um, more lyrics and then some pictures. I'll definitely have to look at this in more detail. These look like some throwback pictures, which is pretty cool. Some older pictures of the band, which is really nice. I wonder if they're kind of going to do a chronological thing. Because that's how the CD goes. It goes in order when the albums came out. More awesome pictures. That picture up there, it's hard to see. From when they play King... It's from when they play King for a Day live. Which is just hilarious. Um, they all come out in costumes. Or at least some, they used to. I don't know if they do anymore. I think they did when I went to see them. But... There's a really nice collage there of pictures from all kinds of different eras. There's one from the American Idiot era. There's one from Uno Dos Tre. One from the current era, Revolution Radio. Yeah. I had to own this. <laughs> I'm just going to skip through. This is the ending page here. And that's uh, credits and stuff. So there you go. That's it. Quick video. It didn't end up being quite as quick as I'd hoped, um, but anyway, uh, unboxing Green Day's new album, God's Favorite Band. Um, I'm getting ready to go home for Thanksgiving break, so you probably won't see any video, any more videos uh, from me for a little while. It depends. I'm still behind on uploading old videos, so maybe I'll keep uploading. <laughs> Who knows? Um, so anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. Hit that subscribe button down below to stay tuned for more new content. When I get back from break, I will be doing more stuff. So stay tuned for that, and have an amazing day. Bye.